have a baby. <laughs> Today I'm officially giving back my Czech citizenship. Here we have my breakfast. Time for a little snack. I'm gonna have these lovely nougat bowls. morning guys it's Lara and Shadow I am up so early now uh, because I have an appointment at the Czech Embassy in Vienna because today I'm officially giving back my Czech citizenship or actually filing the request to return my Czech citizenship I got the Austrian citizenship last year I believe either in January or February or something like that and Austria does not allow people to have double citizenship. I've been living in Austria for now 28 years. That's a long time. It's more than the half of my life. It's crazy how time flies. But of course, that doesn't mean that I don't love Czechia. Czechia will always be in my heart. And that's the place where I grew up and where most of my family lives, so I will always, always love Czechia. That doesn't have to do anything with what's on my passport. But we are here in this video especially to talk about what I'm gonna eat today. So in the car I had my chocolate soy milk. This is something I really enjoy in the morning. I don't eat breakfast before we go out because I wanna go out with Shadow as early as possible but I don't want to have completely empty stomach so I usually drink a bit of chocolate soy milk and in my backpack I also have water with a slice of lime and a slice of strawberry just for the taste. It tastes delicious without any sugars and any artificial sweeteners. And now we're gonna enjoy our morning walk with Mr. Bushytail. It's so beautiful and peaceful around this time, so it's gonna be amazing. And when we're gonna be back home, I'm gonna show you my breakfast. Here we have my breakfast. So today I'm having overnight oats with plums and poppy seeds and agave syrup. We will have to go shortly back in time so that I can show you how I prepared these. But let me show you the rest first. I'm drinking rooibos tea with chocolate vanilla flavor. And I added a bit of homemade hazelnut milk. Recipe for my homemade hazelnut milk is on my channel, so I will link it down below. And this is, by the way, my absolutely favorite cup. It's Shadow and I, I just love this, it's so cute. And I'm also having herbal tea. I felt like drinking herbal teas again lately. And this is ginger turmeric tea. Absolutely lovely and refreshing. And here I have my usual supplements. They include B12. You don't necessarily need the other supplements, but I'm just so used to taking them. I've been taking them before I went vegan, so I continue doing that. And uh, my blood scan is always amazing, so obviously uh, it works. And now let's jump back in time so that I can show you how I prepared these delicious plum oats. I started with the topping. I took a few plums and chopped them into pieces. By the way, if you have gastritis, I would not necessarily recommend plums yet. Rather, top your oats with steamed apples or fresh berries. But my stomach is healed, so now I can indulge into these again. I preheated a non-stick pan and threw in the plums. I sprinkled them with quite a lot of blue poppy seeds. 
and I added a bit of canola oil. I poured in water and then I went in with agave syrup. I cooked the plums till they were soft. And then I put one scoop of oat millet mixture into a bowl. I added one tablespoon of ground hazelnuts, one scoop of vegan vanilla protein powder, and one tablespoon of flax seeds. I kept adding water until I got an almost runny porridge-like consistency. And then I topped the oats with a bit of the cooked plums and put everything overnight in the fridge. I'm about 15 minutes early for my appointment, which is always the best. I felt a little rushed at the end. We took our time in the woods, but everything worked out perfectly and uh, apparently I had enough time to come here. That being said, I was also super lucky because when I came to the subway, the subway just arrived and when I got out uh, at the place where I was supposed to take the tram, the tram arrived about like one minute later, so <laughs> it was just the perfect timing today. All right, so I am done. I had to sign quite a few papers. The lady at the embassy has been, as always, incredibly sweet and helpful. And uh, she's gonna contact me in a few weeks when the papers will be back. And then all will be done. I will give back my Czech citizenship. So it's a huge step, of course. And now I'm going to the palace Trumbrun. I'm meeting my friend Hannah. A few years ago, Hannah has been in one of my Vlogmas episodes, so I will link the video down below. A lot changed in her life since then. She had a baby and I had the incredible honor to become her baby's godmother. And I'm meeting her and my little goddaughter today. <laughs> She's a mama, that's so incredible. I have a baby. <laughs> I have a little girl here. <laughs> She's such a nugget, I love her so much. <laughs> She's so cute. We had coffee, I had coffee with soy milk and then for lunch I had bean soup. It was absolutely delicious, really savory, thick and rich in herbs and spices. Wonderful. For a little snack i'm gonna have these lovely nougat bowls i bought them in the drugstore and i will also share this coconut chocolate with jack and both things are obviously vegan i'm also having a few of these lovely apple pear cookies the bag has been opened for a while so before they start tasting stale i rather have a few and i have uh, my favorite Roy Bosch chocolate vanilla tea with homemade hazelnut milk. So that's gonna be my snack. Now, obviously, cookies and chocolates are not the best choice for anybody who is still dealing with gastritis. If I still had my chronic gastritis symptoms, instead of all this sweet stuff, I would have just eaten, let's say, like two bananas, and that would be my snack. 
I'll finish my tea now and then I'll go in the yard because I have to mow the lawn. It has sprouted so much, it grows extremely fast in the spring, so it's about time to do that again. Stretching felt so amazing. Last year I was not stretching as regularly as I normally do. It was partially because after I found out uh, about my liver tumor, I just wasn't motivated because it was all kind of life-changing. It was a lot to process and then I had my chronic gastritis, so obviously I've been also very tired most of the time but this year I ran out of excuses. I'll film an extra video about that and give you a little update when it comes to my flexibility, but today I kicked my butt and I did my stretching and I'm super happy I did. And now I will start preparing dinner. For dinner, I cooked potato fennel soup. I chopped a few potatoes, soup veggies, fennel and onion. I preheated 3 tablespoons of canola oil in a large pot. And then I threw in the veggies and tossed them for a bit. I poured in water and cooked all for about 15 to maximum 20 minutes. And at the end I seasoned the soup with vegetable soup powder. Super easy. And here it is. Perfect dinner, not only as a gastritis diet. Now that dinner is prepared and I also prepared oats for tomorrow, I'll go upstairs, I'll take a shower, then I will change into my pajamas and by the time when I'm done, Jack will be probably already at home from the office and then we'll have dinner. I don't think I'm gonna eat anything else. I will definitely have a cup of the lovely Rooibos tea with chocolate vanilla flavor and with homemade hazelnut milk and of course a bit of water. And if I still feel like nibbling on something, I might have few, a few bratzel sticks, but that's really gonna be it. I hope that you guys enjoyed our today's video. You can let me know in the comments if you rather watch what I eat in a bit day videos where it's just about the food and the videos are shorter and there's nothing else or if you enjoy this type of what I eat in a day vlogs that I filmed today with a few glimpses of my day and Vienna. I don't know, you have to tell me these videos are for you, so you have to enjoy them. So I'm looking forward to your feedback. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you very much. God bless you and see you soon. Bye.